Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel and the Tarot 1122. Alright, so let's get into this thing for uh, Pisces. Keep in mind that these are general messages. It is not going to resonate with everyone, so take one fix and leave the rest. Alright, Pisces, we are going to see what is the T. What's going on? We always see what's going on with the T. Alright, so, but... We're intentionally trying to see what's going on with your, your love life, the people around you, whatever comes out. All right. If you're interested in booking a reading with me, look in the description box for the link to my website. All right. Give me messages for Pisces, please, and thank you. Ego. Would hypnotic here? An ego, I kind of feel like either there is someone that And then we have living rent, uh, living rent free, in your head here. Okay, so I don't know if this is someone that is self-absorbed. Of course it is. It's too big to fail. That's what this person thinks. But I don't know who this is yet. Hold on. So someone is really kind of either they're stuck on themselves or somebody's dealing with somebody with a huge ego thinking without emotion thinking logically triggered set it off who the hell is this okay uh Not being funny, somebody here might, uh, you might be dealing with somebody that's a little, I don't know, this person might be a little dangerous. We have someone here, I'm getting that there's someone here that is not very empathetic, very cold, uh, possibly very calculating here as well. Oh, what the hell is this? Exposed truth, re truth revealed. All right, somebody got triggered here. Something was said. Something was known, exposed. And it may have hurt somebody's ego here. What's going on here? So, somebody, yeah, somebody's a diva here. But, you know, the, I don't know, my definition of a diva is biatch, right? All right. Difficult to please here. This is somebody that, that puts themselves on a pedestal. Okay. Somebody's triggered by something that someone said or did. And this person wants to take action. Let's see. Give me messages. Alright, we got a boy toy here. Alright, celebrating quietly. What's going on here? Give me more. I'm getting this one a lot. Somebody plays games here is two. Somebody could be into uh, drugs, alcohol, but possibly favors pills. What is this? All right, poaching, trespassing by any means. Uh, all right, so this is someone that does not have any boundaries. Why well, we always get this energy with your reading that is somebody that is like real ill. 
Oh, Lord. Here we go with this messy person again. I don't want to read for this person again. My God, okay? Uh, antagonist. Uh, who is this? You got someone that's an antagonist. Uh, huge ego. Diva. I can't think of another word for that right now that I can actually stay monetized. This is someone that strategizes against people, too. This also might be uh, someone that does uh, does things behind the scenes to set others up. And they get thrills out of this, too. Look at this. This is crazy. Give me messages about this person. Come on. Two more. All right, unsent messages. One more. Jealous of your beauty. Who just got this? Uh, Scorpio just got this. Some of you could have Scorpio in your chart, or you may be dealing with a Scorpio here. I told you somebody's strategizing here. All right, somebody might be doing something illegal here. We got boy toy again, object of uh, desire here. Okay, you know. Uh, is this somebody that's in competition with you? What the hell is this? Somebody's bitter. It's a hard pill to swallow. This person may be telling lies about you. Why am I getting that someone here, this might be seriously LGBTQ, and this might be two masculine energies, or two males. You be feminine, masculine, whatever. But I don't know for somebody here. And you got somebody that might be jealous of you. All right, so that's for somebody, not for everybody. Somebody's possibly in your business or somebody oversteps some boundaries here too. Let's see. What the hell am I getting on with this person? Give me put in handcuffs. Ooh, okay. sibling rivalry oh hopefully not animosity competitiveness all right super what does it say uh supercilious patronizingly haughty personality oh my god okay so somebody here does act like a diva like somebody owes them the world they walk along clouds or or you know chips of diamonds i don't know Give me messages, please, and thank you for this. All right, won't commit. All right. Okay. Some of the sands on these cards are like, oh, my God. All right, so some of you, this could be, oh. It's going to sound weird as hell. And I don't know why I'm getting this. Okay. There's like... I know like back in the day in certain cultures. Okay. But this, this is like... Oh my God. It's like in certain cultures or certain um, LGBTQ, back in the day, sometimes you would have like a mother, you know what I mean, over you, which is basically like a mentor, you know, 
Um, especially like if you were coming out or something like that. This is somebody that would help guide you along the way. A safe space for a person. Um, oh my God. And this, this, this person here may be a sibling under that house, under that that person, that mentor. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, yeah, it's hard to explain. Unless you, you know, you're in that community, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, somebody here could actually have a rivalry. Oh, okay, so check this out. Perfect analogy. For those of you that have seen um, Memoirs of a Geisha, okay? Perfect, perfect analogy. Okay, when uh, 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 Sayuri went into the house, she became a member of the house, um, and I think, what is her name? Uh, Hatsimomo. She was the actual um, head geisha of that house. But then when Sayuri, when she became of age, she actually became competitive with Hatsumomo, okay? So it's kind of like that under that same house, okay? So I don't mean like brothel or anything like that, but someone here, you could be like dancers or whatever. I don't know, but somebody's got some rivalry with someone here that is would be considered your brother or your sister, but you're not blood related, okay, in that aspect. Okay, I'm sorry, but that's bothering me, so I had to put it out there like that, okay? But anyway, moving on. All right, acting fate for clout, absolutely, okay? Living a lie, misrepresentation, like I said, somebody's living uh, the life of, of luxury, but they don't have it, okay? This person... Um, maybe living with other people and things like that instead of, you know, moving out on their own and paying their own bills. This could be someone that's still living at home or something like that. I don't know. Living at home with their parents or whatever, you know. Nowadays, hell, that is not a bad thing. All right. It's kind of smart if you want to save some money. All right. This person is dead weight. So this person does not carry their own. This is someone that is irresponsible. They possibly make, uh, you know, um, their emergencies other people's problems, you know, and use use other people's resources here. Somebody here, oh. Oh, wow. Okay, so... Maybe that is true. Uh, someone here could actually um, sleep with people for money. Okay. Faking the phone, pretending to be cooler than they actually are. Indistinguishable. Black and identifying or individualized and care uh, qualities. Let's see. So, first of all, this person makes themselves seem more important than they are. All right. Makes an interest. Like I said, you know, you got somebody that's, hey, look at me. <laughs> I'm just saying. This person can possibly be loud, annoying at times or whatever, trying to be the center of attention. Lord have mercy. Alright, anything else? Accessory to a crime. Okay, why we gotta know about bad hygiene? Why we gotta know about this? Maybe some of you guys know who exactly who this is because of this. That comes out a lot. Alright, so somebody here may be a little on... Uh, all right, somebody here might not be emotionally stable here, mentally, mentally stable. Mother superior complex, 
free pass to act uh, appearance. Apparent, I'm sorry, due to female privilege. Okay, so this person, they do try to act like they're above everybody. If this is someone that is an older sibling, if this is actually a sibling, this person tries to weigh that over your head here. That's an ugly person. I ain't even gonna lie. I don't even think I want to give more information about this person. This person is a mad trip. All right, let's see. Pisces, why do you always get this in your your readings? Okay. All right, for someone here, you may have actually stopped dealing with this person. All right, gone cold silent on this person here. All right. Uh, it looks like this person might be looking you up online. They're feeling some type of way, missing this connection here, but that ego mm -mm, won't let them say anything about it. Uh, don't know if you really want this person back in your life. Uh, give me more on this situation because... Yes, the devil. Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. Absolutely not. This person is very sneak, uh, sneaky and secretive here, too. They may have done something, said something that actually got back to you. It's not zero no more, right? And then on top of that with the high priestess and the devil here. What about the high priestess? Whoever this is, they definitely want to come back your way. Yeah. For some of you, this could be someone that is a so-called friend or whatever. Yeah, somebody is adamant about coming coming towards you or saying something to you. What is this? Yeah, okay. So, uh, like I said, someone here wants to literally come in with some communication. I did see an apology here. There's some truth that they want to give you here. This person is watching you online. All right, um, God, ugh. this is really making me not want to finish this reading. So what I am going to do, pull a couple of more of these, and then I am going to get up out of here. Uh-uh, oh, hell no. Okay, so check this out. Pisces, oh, hold on, honey. Godly. Mm-mm. It's a no for me. Okay. And it should be for you too. This person comes in with entirely too much baggage, drama, negativity, confusion, illusions. Uh, ain't no telling what else they got either. Okay. Like literally. Seven of Cups, the Lovers, the Magician, the Devil, the High Priestess, and the Five of Cups. I think not. <laughs> not on my watch. Oh, not today, sir, ma'am. Uh, hold on for a minute. Pisces, I lied. I said I was going to close this out, but you know what? Because, hold on. And then on top of that, why are they so adamant about coming towards you? And jealous of your beauty, insecure and intimidated. What is going on here? Hold on. Let's do some of these.
All right, give me messages for this person. This might be somebody that comes in and try to flatter you here too. Give me messages. I just saw brother here. All right, somebody's coming in playing the victim. All right, let's see. So some of you, this could be a sibling, a brother. Or like I said, someone from the same house or something like that. All right, whoever this is, they are a liar. This person also might be targeting you as uh, to be a liar here as well. Whistleblower, somebody's going to tell it, tell it all. All right, someone is heartbroken here, possibly why they're going around slandering your name or your character here. Give me messages here. All right, this person is dangerous. Why? Because they are jealous and vindictive. And that type of energy that we saw, you know, that um, that's like mean girl um, issues right there. You know what I mean? This The people do, okay, not trying to throw no names out there, but it's kind of like it gives me the Nancy Kerrigan. And, and what's that girl's name? I can't think of her name. But, uh... What is that girl saying? It was right on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, when the ice skater stabbed the other one in the leg, yeah, that it's giving that. All right? So you got to be careful with this, okay? This person is single or this person is doing this behind the scenes by themselves. All right, let's see. Someone here could be hiding a secret. A victim of what? This person may be hiding something that they've done to someone. And they may be lying about it. But someone tells on them. This may be something very dangerous or life-threatening that someone has done in secret. Alright, give me messages, please, and thank you. Alright, this could have been something that's in the past or this is someone from your past. All right, this is also someone that you may have felt like they were loyal or you were loyal to. All right, this person may have Capricorn in their chart or there could be a Capricorn involved in this situation. Mm. Mm. That devil energy is Capricorn. All right, let's see. Give me messages, please, and thank you. Yeah, this person could be younger than you, but they have some. This person has some problems. This person is very controlling. This person may be younger than you, but might act like they're older than you. For some of you or someone here, this could be a boss, or maybe this is someone that has a position over you. Someone here could also have. Uh, I don't know. You can have someone that you need to look out for, a Capricorn. This could be a boss here. I don't know. Or CEO. This, all right, future job here. All right, you might have somebody that keeps tabs on you, especially if you work in some type of store. All right, let's see. This person might be storing information on you, too, especially if you work on computers or whatever it is. So just be mindful that you're not... Uh, going on sites and things like that that you're not supposed to protect your passwords and if you happen to work with money make sure that you keep a track of your daily registers all right i don't know why i need to say that but anywho moving on all right admiration here let's see past job for some of you this is a male here for some of you you may have someone from your past job or something like that that keeps up with you there's mean vibes from uh somebody there's some folks here that don't like you but all right <laughs> this person might want to come off and like they're your best friend or somebody's best friend might have actually peeped this person and told you or you might have peeped this person and told your bestie bestie could have came and tapped you on the shoulder hey you know what you know this person that you're dealing with leave it alone 
Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Okay? This could be a cousin here. I don't know. But someone here, like I said, Scorpio got uh, a lot of these cards over here. Especially jealous of your beauty. So, check out that reading if you think it might resonate with you. Give me one more. But there's a bestie here too. A best friend is involved. Alright, this is also family. Look at this. An abuser. Hold on. I know I said I was over it, but hold on. What's going on here? What's the victim? This victim has... Okay. Has something to do with this best friend. Somebody got blocked off. Cut off. Yeah, no communication. Radio silence. Let's see. Give me messages. Oh, somebody possibly thought this person. Yeah, this cycle's closed out with the death card on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody thought this person possibly was their friend. Maybe trusted this person. Let them in too close and this person betrayed them. All the while, this person was jealous of you. All right, possibly. Okay, give me more. Uh, give me one more on the victim. Mm -hmm. Look at this. this. Look, okay, whoever this is that got thrown out of your life, this was divine intervention, okay? This person needed to go. You needed to heal. Move on from this situation. Get back to yourself, baby. All right, absolutely reject this offer that's coming in because it's a, oh, hell no. Why would you? All right, uh, what's up with this best friend? Okay. You got somebody watching in secret. Let's see. Or somebody's friend, like I said, may have told them about this person. Give me more. I think somebody was waiting for this to go down. Give me one more. Yeah, somebody was waiting for this to go down. You know what this is giving? <laughs> this is like a situation where, say like, okay, if you hooked up with somebody and your bestie did not like this person, and maybe you and the bestie fell out over something that this person may have done or said. Or maybe you said, you know what, hey, I love this person. and Or that's my brother, that's my sister or whatever. You know, we have history and your bestie is like, hey, but you know what, you need to watch that person. Uh, I know you love them. I know that's not, you know, you feel that that's your friend or that's your brother, your sis, your fam. Or because you're related here, um, what you don't see is what I see. I have a helicopter view, and I see that this person is shady with you at times. I see when you're talking about, you know, your successes in your life, how this person rolls their eyes or tries to one-up you, you know what I mean? So there's that. So someone here possibly pulled themselves out of this situation. Uh, this, this friendship, this connection here actually could have, like, really slowed down. A lot. Somebody really possibly pulled themselves out of this connection and waited for this to go down. But now that they see how everything is working out, you close the cycle with this person. This friend here is actually happy about that. And it looks like, yeah, because whatever this was, it was weighing on the connection between you and them. 
And also, this person sees how somebody was treating you. So, if somebody knew that this was going to go down, you understand? Um, whoever this was, I think communication was cut off between you and them. Or whoever this person is that was telling you, hey, you know what? The heads up about this person. This person is not who you think they are. You know what I mean? It is what it is. But someone didn't listen until that tower fell. You know, because after all, this is this, this is bro, this fam, this cousin, you know, whoever it is. But this friend was more family than anything. I'm just saying. So, Pisces, baby, I don't know what to tell Well, I know what to tell you. Keep it pushing, my love. Literally. Because you got someone here that's selfish as hell. Um, let me see. I don't think any of these are going to resonate with you and this reading, but let's see. I'll go ahead and pull these and see what this person has to say. I don't know. This could be a love interest. I don't know. This is kind of weird to me, but... Somebody over there could be a little promiscuous. I don't know. A lot of promiscuous. Whatever, whatever. All right, let's see. Give me messages about this situation, please, and thank you. What Pisces? What's going on? Give me one, please. Big mouth. <laughs> Didn't I say that earlier? Gossip, impulsiveness, tells your secrets, talks about your business, can't be trusted and twists the truth. Did I, did I not tell you that? I did. You don't react the way that I want you to and I don't get it. So, Pisces, you're really unbothered when it comes to this person. You already know. You can lay hands on this person. You understand? The laying of the hands are not in a good way, Okay. Or you could walk away and just cut this person out of your life. You know, it is what it is. Me personally, I get both aspects, but take the high road, sweetheart. All right. Don't let anybody bait you into some BS. What you do is you cut off his oxygen, baby. Cut off the air supply. And that is you. All right. We don't have time for that madness in our lives. Absolutely not. And whoever this is. If this is the same person that has been wreaking havoc in your last reading, sweetheart, you need to hurry up and cut this snake out your life, okay? Because, my God, my God, how messy can you be? And that's exactly what came up in this, re this reading, is that this person is messy as hell. All right, so anyway, um, Pisces, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you could, actually hit that like button for your girl. I greatly appreciate it. And for those of you that are dealing with this situation, if it resonates, go check out that Scorpio reading, okay? Especially because it came up here, all right? Yeah, it kind of mirrors this one. All right, so you guys, I will holler at y'all later. Y'all take care, and I'll holler. Bye.